You know things get intense in the animal kingdom. You know that a lot of trouble goes down among the mammals. But did you know things can get just as gnarly among the bugs? Oh yes, a bug's life didn't lie to you. These are the craziest fights in the insect kingdom. Number 20. Scorpion vs. 1,000 Cockroaches It seems like a fairly even matchup, 1,000 little cockroaches against the almighty scorpion. Both fighters have their distinct advantages. The scorpion is much more massive than a cockroach, while also benefiting from being very poisonous. But will that sting help him at all during a fight like this? Right after the scorpion gets dropped into a box of cockroaches, it's immediately clear that the big guy doesn't stand a chance. There's just too many of these little roaches for him to get a steady hold of what's going on. The sheer amount of the little guys is too overpowering for the scorpion, so it tries to make its escape, but to no avail. It seems that the cockroaches are biting the scorpion, but because of the scorpion's nice thick layer of scaly armor, the bite doesn't seem to have any kind of effect, though if it did, it would definitely sting the scorpion quite a bit. While scorpions are renowned for their viciousness and aggressive behavior, they can't withstand the sheer numbers in the end. So in this matchup, the cockroaches have the win. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. The praying mantis is perhaps one of the most deadliest and aggressive of all insects out there. That's why this footage, in which a praying mantis brawls with a scorpion, should come as no surprise. Given the sheer size difference, it's actually kind of crazy how well the praying mantis holds its own, and then goes on to successfully battle the scorpion. It's shocking stuff. As always, comment down below with the hashtag sweet topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed you on the screen. Number 19. Devil Scorpion Chopped in Half by Pincers of Fearsome Predator Judging from the title of this head-to-head -head matchup, the scorpion is getting owned again. What happened to them being so fearsome and all that? Then again, the other insect is literally called the warrior beetle, so it seems like it's definitely living up to its name in the end. Right when the scorpion's dropped into the pit of doom, he knows he's in for trouble, and begins to try and make his way out, just like last time. However, this beetle is out for blood, immediately going on the attack and grabbing the scorpion stinger with its powerful pincers. The beetle seems to have the scorpion from behind, with no way for it to flip around and get out of its grip. But then, the scorpion seems to have flipped it, and has a firm grasp on the beetle's legs in its own pincers. However, in the end, the beetle gets the upper hand, cutting the scorpion's tail right off. Number 18. Tiny Crab Spider Kills Centipede I'm pretty sure we all know what a centipede is, but what the heck is a crab spider? Let me give you a quick overview before we dive into this battle royale. Crab spiders are widespread in landscapes and residential gardens around the world, and are generalist predators, which means that they eat a wide range of smaller insects. They also eat pollen and nectar, amongst other things, oh, and they're super cute as well. Both of these combatants may be very small, but they both have a lot of gusto between the two of them. Right from the get-go, they're on the attack, and some are pretty quick and vicious attacks as well. My money's on the spider, only because it has venom on its side. But the centipede, well, it's bigger than the spider, and seems that size really doesn't matter in this case. Even as the centipede jumps on top of the spider, the spider does an excellent job of keeping its pincers away from its face. The spider even grabs the back legs of the centipede as it tries to get away. This kind of wrestling continues for a bit, all before it appearing that the centipede has taken its final blow. The venom has taken its toll in the end, and the spider walks away with the victory. Number 17. Black Carpenter Ant vs. Small Red Ant Epic Fight 
In the animal kingdom, and within the insect kingdom especially, ants are known to be quite the fighter. They'll even go to war with their own colonies. When another queen begins to lay eggs in a colony, it will separate them into two factions and they'll duke it out. Also, when food supplies are scarce, they'll fight one another to get to it. So here we not only have two ants, but two of completely different types going against one another. And it seems for this entry, we actually have a family feud. Right off the bat, the fire ant is on the carpenter ant's head, taking bites at it. But the carpenter ant is much too big to properly maneuver itself to get a solid hit on the fire ant. It appears, though, that another carpenter ant enters into the fighting arena and is going to help out. Even though this battle was well fought, in the end, there appears to be no clear winner. Number 16. Blowfly ejects maggots while being eaten by mantis. This one's not really much of a fight, because the mantis rocks the socks off of the blowfly, or should I say, rocks the maggots out of it. The mantis is really the apex predator of the insect world. They're so fast and vicious with their attack that it's hard to see who could possibly take one on in a fight and actually win. Once the mantis has the fly cornered, it then uses its lightning-fast reflexes to grab it before it can get away, and once it's in its grasp, it's game over for the fly. The rest isn't so much of a fight as it is the fly's last struggle all before being eaten alive, and just as it gets eaten, the blowfly ejects some of the maggots that it had inside. This almost makes you feel kind of bad for the fly, but then you remember that it's just a fly, and maggots are really, really disgusting. Number 15. Brutal Fight of the Mantis and Scorpion So far on our list, the scorpion hasn't really fared all that well. Maybe it will get its win this time. I really like the praying mantis, so my money's still on him. Though I'm always down to see the underdog come in from behind and take the win. First off, this scorpion is huge, and it's entered into the arena with a couple of cockroach friends, which seem to have served as a kind of distraction for the mantis. The ploy works, and the mantis begins feeding on the roaches, but it's getting a bit too comfortable around that gigantic scorpion. So what does it end up doing? It uses balls of brass to attack the scorpion itself. This, of course, does not fare well for the mantis. It falls right between the powerful grasp of the scorpion's pincers. And once it gets there, it's got no chance of surviving. The scorpion ends up winning, and the king has retaken his crown, now sitting upon a throne of the most badass insect in the world. But perhaps another insect will come along and challenge him for the spot. Number 14. Male mantises fight females to mate, but they get eaten if they lose. It's often written that love and death are closely linked. Just look at Romeo and Juliet. This story slash fight is the sort of mantis version of that classic Shakespearean tale. Except though if Juliet had murdered Romeo in the beginning and then began eating his head. Which in my opinion is equally as romantic. The beginning of this exchange seems innocent enough. A male mantis is going toward a really good looking female that he'd like to impregnate. Easy enough, right? Well, the female's either hungry or doesn't want that guy's babies, because as soon as he gets close, she then attacks him. And not just like a couple of go-away slaps to the face, no, she grabs him by the head and begins eating him. The female is chewing through the male's midsection, and she soon eats the poor guy right in half. But just before it happens, and I'm not kidding when I say this, the male starts to actually impregnate her. The bottom half of the mantis has a separate nerve system which allows for this to happen, so in the end, she still ends up with his babies anyways. Number 13. Murder Hornet Destroyed by Praying Mantis in a Matter of Seconds Now as if I needed any more proof of just how super cool that mantises are, here we have one taking out a murder hornet. These aren't just any kind of hornets, people. These are hornets that can murder a human being. 
So for a green little mantis to be able to take on this moth-loving thing is a pretty big deal. As soon as this fight begins, it's over. Clearly, the mantis is too fast, and the hornet has no idea what hit it by the time that it begins to eat its face off. The hornet struggles the entire time, and you can even see its stinger come out every once in a while to try and get a good hit in on the mantis, but it's done for. The one thing that is fairly surprising about all of this is how the mantis really devours the hornet. I mean, it ate almost the entire thing. I didn't even know that a mantis had such an enormous appetite. But it seems that it's making a move on the scorpion as the coolest insect on this list. Number 12. Leech vs 100 Cockroaches Now we'll take a little break from scorpions and mantises to see what some of the other insects are capable of when pitted against each other. We're back in the pit with roaches, but this time they're going against a leech. This should be interesting to say the least. Leeches are a kind of worm, so their movements won't be too surprising in the end. And when it's placed in a glass box with some roaches, it appears to only have one instinct, to run away. Not all of the roaches seem to jump on it at once, only the ones that are close by begin to overpower it. And the poor little guy just keeps slithering as fast as it can. The leech doesn't really seem to have much of a defense mechanism against all these roaches. What could it ever actually do to them that could possibly harm them anyways? Try and suck out their blood? I'm not so sure that's going to work. In the end, what we see is what I'm pretty sure everyone expected. The roaches have dominated this leech, so it's another win for them. Number 11. Two scorpion-like spiders fight to the death. Now we have a couple of spiders that closely resemble scorpions, but in reality, they're not related to them at all. This is just a very particular kind of spider that dwells in some of the deepest, darkest places of the world, and we see how they fare when they must fight one of their own. One thing that spices up this fight a little bit is that both of these spiders are actually completely blind. Because they live in such dark areas of the world, they don't really need eyesight. Two of their legs actually function as a kind of antenna to help them to feel around in the dark, and in cases like this one, it can help them to detect predators. These spiders don't mess around either. Usually, when the fight's over between them, the victor will eat the one that lost. It's a bit of an extra thing if you ask me, but when you're living in dark, damp caves with not a whole lot to feast on, maybe eating the guy that you just beat the crap out of isn't such a bad idea. Number 10. Scorpion vs. Centipede now we get back to the scorpions, king of the ultimate insect fighting championship, and for this round we go head to head with not just a little tiny house centipede, this is a big juicy centipede from the jungle. We all know the qualifications of a scorpion at this point, but what about one of these humongous centipede beasts? First off, they technically don't have 100 legs. Their numbers can range anywhere from 27 to 177, so that's a good advantage for them. It would appear as though the powerful claws of the scorpion are just too much for the centipede to handle. It just isn't finding a good angle to really get all of its legs around the scorpion. But then, the humans who have been filming the thing have intervened. I'm going to have to call foul on this one, because while the fight seemed to be tipped more towards the scorpion, after human intervention, the centipede now has a bit more of an advantage. It's completely coiled itself around the scorpion. My verdict for this one is that it's a draw. But still, the centipede put up a really good fight. Number 9. Tarantula vs. Scorpion an up-and-coming challenger has come around for the number 9 fight in this ongoing saga. The tarantula spider, another one of nature's more freaky ones, has stepped into the ring with our reigning champion, the scorpion. Of course, the tarantula is a venomous spider, but it's also highly sensitive to vibrations on the ground, which helps it to sense when predators may be afoot. This spider also has some hairs on its abdomen that act as irritants when the spider goes into defense mode. Both of these insects actually belong to the arachnid family, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens when they're put in the same arena. 
In the end though, what should be a massive fight actually ends up in a love fest, with the tarantula even climbing on top of the scorpion. It's worth noting that the scorpion in the video takes what could be interpreted as an aggressive stance towards the tarantula, though it never actually attacks. Number 8. Scorpion vs Scorpion vs Shrew for this round, it appears we're going to have a massive three-way. Scorpions and a shrew, who decide to drop in after two scorpions fight. Seeing as how the shrew's not actually an insect, I'm gonna call this fight extracurricular. The shrew's a cute little animal who actually feeds on scorpions, and after the scorpions have gone at each other for a while, the shrew then decides that he's gonna drop in and try and grab an easy dinner. However, the scorpion sees him coming and tries to hide himself, very unsuccessfully I might add. The shrew finds the scorpion easily, and the scorpion quickly tries to sting the shrew with some lightning fast attacks, but it knows how to move pretty quick on its own. That lightning fast shrew finally gets its strike of death in and quickly brings down the king of our list. Rest in peace, Mr. Scorpion. Number 7. Wasps turn cockroaches into zombies. Now we have some science fiction kind of horror stuff going on, although this one really isn't a fight as much as it is just totally insane. In this case, a female emerald cockroach wasp will locate a cockroach and sting the ganglia on its thorax when she's ready to become a mother. The cockroach's front legs are then paralyzed, allowing her to administer a second and more accurate sting in the cockroach's brain. The roach's escape reflex is disabled by the second sting, thus turning it into a zombie. The wasp may now grasp the roach's antennae and pull it away to a nearby burrow. But don't get too comfortable because the craziness doesn't end there. The wasp will then lay a single egg on the cockroach's abdomen and bury it after it's entered the burrow. The egg hatches after three days, and the baby wasp lives and feeds on the roach for four to five days. Then the young wasp will next eat its way into the roach's body, consuming its internal organs. Just as a reminder at this point, the cockroach is actually still alive throughout this entire process. It's at this point that the young wasp will consume its internal organs in a specific order to boost the length of time that the roach stays alive, and that allows it to feed and develop further. It will eventually let the roach die and spin a cocoon within its body, emerging as an adult emerald cockroach wasp from the roach's empty husk. You can't even make something like this up. Only nature could devise something as terrifying as this. Number 6. Kidnapper Ant Steals Other Ants' Babies Continuing this left turn into more science fiction type fights, we have some ants who will literally steal ant babies from other colonies, all in order to brainwash them back into their colony. And you heard me correctly, I did say brainwash. These kidnapper ants will attack the colonies of other ant species, kidnap the young, and then return them to their nest. When the kidnapped children reach adulthood, the kidnappers dupe them into hunting, cleaning the nest, and even chewing up their food for them, which is all kinds of messed up. When one colony attacks another, the ants really do fight each other in a vicious way. These really are some troopers. It appears in this video the red ants have a serious size advantage over the black ones. They've gotten away with a lot of the other ants' babies. Number 5. Fireflies Eat Other Fireflies Even cute little fireflies are actually brutal cannibalistic murderers. But what is the insect world coming to? We all know and love these little bugs because they're able to light up their butts in order to attract mates. Well, what teachers and your parents don't tell you about the firefly's mating process is going to seriously shock you. Females of the firefly genus have learned how to mimic the flashes of other fireflies, all in order to attract the males of those specific species. When one comes along, she then quickly pounces and drains his blood. What do you think she does next? 
Well, she eats the insides, of course. The scientist who originally documented this behavior in the 1970s, Jim Lloyd of the University of Florida in Gainesville, gave them the moniker Femme Fatale fireflies, which are found across the eastern United States. Perhaps the female praying mantis and the genus of this firefly can get together and have a ladies' night out, all full of devouring and crazy insect baby making. Number 4. The Big Scorpion Against the Huge Hissing Cockroaches After that diversion into some crazy insect habits, we're now back on track with an ultimate insect fight, in the form of a big scorpion, except this time he's matched up with not only one of those little baby crappy cockroaches, he's got to go against one of those big ones that hiss at you. This is one of the few types of roaches that doesn't have wings, so flight is out of the question. However, it does still know how to move very quickly. After dropping one of these 10 centimeter big cockroaches into the ring with a scorpion, nothing really happens, although the scorpion definitely feels threatened. After one of the humans introduces a few more of these roaches, it then kicks the scorpion into high gear. The roaches begin chasing the scorpion around before one of them makes a bad decision to get on the scorpion's back, because that's when the scorpion begins to sting him. And the fight even finishes with the scorpion eating one of the roaches. Number 3. 1,000 Cockroaches versus a Mantis I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the mantis is going to rock the socks off of all these roaches. They may have some power in numbers, however the mantis has a serious leg up in terms of size and speed. In fact, roaches and the praying mantis are quite closely related, having evolved from the same ancestry. Despite this fact, they're going head to head, and immediately when the mantis is put into the arena, he does the smart thing and keeps his distance from the roaches by hanging from the glass walls. The roaches are unable to climb, so then, just as one of them gets close enough, the mantis strikes and he's found his dinner. However, gluttony, it would seem, could be the undoing of the mantis. Right after he grabs the roach, he then falls off the wall and is almost immediately swarmed. While they may be climbing all over him, he doesn't really seem to be all that phased. He just really, really wants to eat that roach. Number 2. Black Widow vs. Huntsman Spider now this is a very nice matchup, because two of the most dangerous spiders in the world are going head to head. Both the Huntsman and the Black Widow are venomous. The Black Widow is much more potent though. On the other hand, the Huntsman is at least four times the size of the Black Widow. In the beginning of the fight, they both seem to be going as hard as they can. Until something happens about 45 seconds in. That's when the Huntsman seems to have slowed down considerably all while the Black Widow continues to shoot his web at him to try and wrap him up. The Huntsman begins to bleed from his face, and it appears that he was bitten, and now the venom is really beginning to take its toll. His legs start to curl as the Widow continues shooting a web, and it appears to be over, with the Widow taking a very shocking and well-deserved win. This was a brutal fight, but it definitely establishes the Black Widow as THE spider that's not to be messed with. Number 1. Huntsman Spider and Gigantic Wasp Battle to the Death It only feels appropriate that for the last entry on our list, we'll have two losers that go head to head to see who really sucks the least and who'll be on the bottom. So the Huntsman Spider, who got pretty owned the last round, is going up against a wasp, who, for those of you that don't remember, got its face eaten off by a freaking mantis. The Huntsman doesn't really seem to be off to a good beginning in this one, with the wasp on top of him. The wasp seems to be stinging the spider multiple times in the abdomen, which is probably going to spell out defeat and death for the Huntsman, but regardless, the tussle continues for a bit longer. Then, near the end, the Huntsman spider's legs begin to curl a bit. This is a true signal that he may be down for the count, although that wasp doesn't seem to be doing so hot either. As close as this was between the two of them, it appears that the wasp has come out on top, leaving the Huntsman to be the second worst on the list. The absolute worst? Well, that goes to the cockroaches, because they just suck in general. 
From the looks of it, the scorpion is the list's champion insect. There were some close calls and bitter ends, but it's my honor and duty to name the scorpion the ultimate insect fighter. Who do you think deserves to be the king of the insects? Any matchups that you wish you could see? Let us know in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.